The hardest people to get delivered are the prideful religious church. Some of the hardest people to confront who need deliverance are those with a strong level of pride who attend church religiously, especially those who are church leaders, just like in Jesus' days with the prideful Pharisees. So how do you address it with them? Pray that the scales are removed from their eyes so that they can see the truth that they need to change and walk in the fruit of the Spirit and get rid of their pride. In a loving manner, explain to them how when people are hurt growing up from their dads, their moms, and have sexual violations or exposure to pornography, that what happens is if they give their lives to Christ and ask Jesus to come into their hearts, that demons will continue to stay in their souls, which is their mind, their mind, their will, their emotions, due to the continued unforgiveness that they still have towards people who hurt them, and pride. Matthew 18, 21 through 35, Jesus explains if we refuse to forgive others who have hurt us, that will be turned over to the tormentors. Demons torment Christians. And how do you know if you have not truly forgiven people from your heart who hurt you? You'll continue to think and ruminate about all the bad things that they said or did to you every day as you just cannot let it go. You may even talk about it to people every week. You often still have anger, you have bitterness towards those people that hurt you. You might even have tears. You can also explain to them how demonic spirits like Leviathan in Job 41 will speak to them in their thoughts, give them pride in thinking that all of their decisions are right and all who came against them are wrong, that they will become blind to see the truth in their own words and their own actions, how pride came upon them when they were hurt and blinded them from seeing today, how their own words and actions are prideful, and they need to humble themselves before the Lord. So unforgiveness and pride are the two key areas that Christians struggle with, which will allow demonic spirits' rights to torment their souls, their minds, causing them not to be delivered. I also recommend either watching some of the testimonies that we have from people on my YouTube channel who have gotten delivered with an earshot of those who don't think that they need deliverance because then they can listen without feeling any judgment that you believe and you know that they need deliverance. So you can also send the videos of the deliverance testimonies to people who need deliverance. But understand, the enemy will try to get them to take an offense that you think that they need deliverance, which of course they do. I also have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons that can also be sent to them anonymously so that they won't feel judged. So it can be extremely hard to get people delivered who have a lot of pride in their lives and that they are religious because they would never consider that they need deliverance because the demons are telling them that. They take offense at everything and are super opinionated about everyone. So just like the Pharisees of Jesus' days, who he called vipers and whitewashed tombs, who were more concerned with their image of piety than loving people like Christ. They have to admit the truth about themselves that they have issues and have hurt people and need to repent and explain, and explains why many people want nothing to do with them. Ultimately, people have a free will. They can choose to resist being honest and getting delivered if they want to. Uh, It's up to them. So I have a book called Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons, helping people around the world to get healed and delivered. If you're interested in that, it's available on Amazon and paperback, Kindle and Audible. You can also request a personal session of healing and deliverance with me. Go out to our website, restored2tofreedom.com. Click on Contact Me and submit the form, or you can call 317-459-7091. Thanks.